Hi, Miss Samper and friends. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little frog in my throat. Thanks for joining me tonight. I have something fun I wanted to share with you. Um, as many of you know, my name is Susan Timchak, and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. And I uh, was playing around tonight with some of our new product, and I came across something that I thought was really fun, and I just couldn't wait to share with you. So um, what I'm going to be using tonight is the stamp set Beautiful You. It's actually... Um, two different um, boxes that come with this set. It's a real pretty set and what I did is I kind of combined it into one um, just because it was, it's just easier that way rather than having two with a rubber band around it. And then what I did with the other box, I actually took the watercolor pencils which is another new product that's coming out and um, I cut off the front and the back of the packaging, put a little bit of snail adhesive and I put my watercolor pencils in there. I think I like that better than just the cardboard box they come with. So I'm going to be using the watercolor pencils with the product that with the project I'm showing you tonight, along with the beautiful you stamp set. And also, what I'm going to be using, and this is very well loved, it's falling apart everywhere. It's the Serene Scenery Designer Series Paper Stack. This is such a beautiful pack of paper. It's double-sided, six by six in size. And, uh, oh, and there's Dory making her appearance. <laughs> and um, it, it's very beautiful backgrounds. And I have my little scraps in here. I need to put them in a baggie. And this is the paper that I'm going to be focusing on tonight. To me, this looks like the beach. Um, right here in Pennsylvania, it's January 2nd and it's cold and kind of was a little bit nasty out today and um the beach just sounds like a good thing for me right now i i hope you too if you live in the beach area i mean lucky you um but well dory i'm gonna need a little spot here to work if you don't mind maybe she can find a little spot to go to all right so let me show you the card that i'm going to do um it's very basic simple it's using, um, oh, let me see. This is Pool Party. I'm sorry, I had to look at my colors. Pool Party is the cardstock base. The next layer is Crumb Cake. And then there's that layer of that um, designer series paper. All right, Dory, come on, baby cakes. Let me put her there. I hope she doesn't come back for just a few minutes. <laughs> oh, she's back. <laughs> And she's looking for a place to to lay herself. Um, I have quite a lot of stuff on my desk because I've just been um, having so much fun playing. Okay, so anyhow, back to the card. Now I'm going to do the second card a little bit different than the first, but um, I'm going to have a different uh, layout. This one went across this way, and this one's going to go um, vertical, horizontal, vertical. I always get those two confused. I always think of vertical blinds are going up and down. So there we go. Okay. So um, let me just do this real quick for you. Um, the ink that I'm using today is the Archival Stampin' Basic Black ink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up the stamp, the one right here with her. Looks like she's kind of dancing. I want to make sure I have this inked up well, so let me do it this way. Okay, and I'm going to put her down here at the bottom. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to use the saying. The saying is actually, it's really nice. It says, life may not be the party we had hoped for, but while we're here, we might as well dance. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, the sayings in this beautiful you are just... Oh, they're just just perfect. I love them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the saying up in there. Okay, so that's it for the stamping. Now what I'm going to do, I mean, this is beautiful just like this. You can make the card and you can end there. But what I thought I would do is I'm going to use the colored pencils. And um, I'm going to take this cameo color. And I'm going to make this kind of look like as though it were skin color. And do her little leg here. Dory's really enjoying my my coloring technique here. <laughs> and I hope you can see. I hope she's not in the way. I'm sorry if she is. I'm using the brown. And I'm just going to kind of go along the base like this. And now I'm going to use the old olive. 
and I'm going to kind of highlight her hat. I'm going a little bit darker um, where some of these seams are, just like this. I'm doing this really quick, so I don't want this video to be too long, because then what happens? Okay, doors. <laughs> When you want to sit on my lap, maybe it'll be happy there. What happens if I go too long? Then I end up getting cut off, and, and that doesn't make me real happy. Okay, so just like that. I mean, you, you know, we're going to fix that. All right, let me cover those up, put them to the side. Now um, I'll get a little scrap of... Um, baby wipe there. Now what I did is this is an old wink of Stella and um, I actually thought that the glitter part of it was gone already. So what I did, um, I added some alcohol. Now this is, this is one I believe from like the Dollar Tree. It's only 50% alcohol. Alcohol comes in different percentages if you, if you aren't aware of that. So what I did is I took the top off um, I unscrewed this, took the little black piece out, and I filled it with alcohol, okay? Put the cover on. I did mark it so that I know not to use this, um, that this is used with alcohol. And I'm going to give it a little shake. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze a little bit. And see, there is still um, the um, glitter in there for the week of Stella. So how fun is that? Okay, all right, Doris, can you move a little bit? Because I think people want to see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this. Now, I did, I am squeezing it a little bit to bring out some of the alcohol and bring out some of the color. So instead of using um, like an aqua painter, I'm actually recycling the used up Wink of Stella. I'm going to go along here. Let me clean that off a little bit, go a little bit along her, her legs and her arm. And I hope this is in camera. Okay, clean that off a little bit. I'm just using a, a baby wipe here to clean it off. I'm going to squeeze out some, some of the um, alcohol. And then what I did, I just kind of gave it a little squeeze and just went basically all over the background. I was careful not to go too close to her. But, I mean... You really can't go wrong with this type of technique. I really think, I'm going to squeeze out a little more. I don't want to get too much. I don't want to big, be a big globby globby. And the best part of this is as because it's alcohol and because it dries quicker than water, um, it makes it really fun for, um, for coloring. Let me just stand up and make sure you can, you can see that. Can you see the shimmer? And the glimmer in that. So then again, I'm going to adhere it. Um, oh boy, where is my... Oh, I can't find... My, my desk is such a mess. I'm trying to find my adhesive. All right. Uh, all right, let me just use my ATG gun just for... Just for my mind's sake, because otherwise I'm going to be here looking for my snail... And it's lost in space on my desk, and I apologize for that. So we are just going to layer that onto the crumb cake. And the alcohol is already dry, so notice I'm turning it over. All right, and we're going to, there's Dory. She's left us right now, so maybe she won't come back until we're done. All right, so I'm just going to um, adhere that to the back, and there we go. I mean, isn't that just a stunning card? So when your Wink of Stella brush is all done, or you think it's done, don't throw it away. You can refill it with alcohol. You can also put water if you choose to do that. And I have another technique that I'm gonna be showing you soon with um, this Wink of Stella pen. And um, it's gonna be something totally different. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Give me a like down below. Um, share it with anyone and everyone. I would love that. And um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. And glimmer hugs to you. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.